Uh, hello, my dear listeners. I um, just finished to watch presentation of my, Mike Maloney about twenty thousand dollars gold. And what's a great presentation? I always like Mike Maloney opinion. Uh, lots of good arguments, lots of research, and all you know kind of holds uh, together. Uh, every time I see this perfect a presentation like that I try to stay back and take a look at the larger perspective on on this and you know you I'm from my own research I realized that economic theories uh, if you take very rational approach just based on logic uh, you you there is a big chance that you're gonna fail on something because um, you know it's Economy, it's it's the science beyond logic, and every, lots of biggest component in this. It's it's basically our perception and and our will, and I will explain what what I mean. Because again, Mike Maloney, he's talking a lot about deflation in his um, uh, presentation, and it says, okay, it happened before, it should it should happen again, and uh, something that. A very very important point uh, when he says actual money it's just uh, numbers that uh, have been entered into the computer so there is an infinite supply of money but other thing that he's you have to realize that there is basically no rules it's it's a it's a absolutely uh, fictional virtual system and when we he's talking about the collapse of the financial system okay I'm starting to realize it's it's actually gonna be a very very positive thing because it's not it's not a real co collapse and he, he says himself look all the buildings gonna be there there is not like a nuclear bombs gonna fall power stations gonna be around you know you we will still have uh, all the grids all the wire supply everything is gonna be there and he's absolutely right but then he's when he's going uh, and predicting the future and everybody does that and most of people that they are assuming that we have to continue kind of we have to do something with the previous system we kind of have to fix it we have to you know uh, if we don't repay the debt we have to kind of uh, encounter this in the f in the future um, like when he's talking about M2 and he said okay uh, too much all the dollars in the existence dollar has to go to 20 uh, 20 thousand dollars per ounce again that assuming that we will at some point we're going to do monetary reform but we're going to encounter what was previously uh, done and I see like when monetary reform was done in, in, in the Soviet Union in Russia during the uh, Soviet Union collapse and years later I I can tell you when the new po uh, politicians come into power they absolutely don't care what was previously done and they will not encounter you know those numbers 20,000 100,000 5,000 1,000 it, it doesn't you know you if you understand it doesn't mean anything it it also means that you cannot base your assumption uh, what's the new political system is going to be what what's the new people will decide what's the new people is going to do uh, and nobody if, if you if you kind of think uh, further about this there is nobody will really come and try to force uh, previous rules on the new system and it's go going to pretty much be the opposite the new political force will kind of try to repeal whatever uh, previously wasn't in place that's what's usually happen in this kind of revolution on the breakdowns and the collapse and that's what's going to happen in the financial system so the contraction of the money supply it's absolutely in my opinion it's absolute fallacy because you know if take again in a small scale to understand that let's say we have 10 people in the economy and we we decide to end the virtual system and in the same minute we can start a new one and there you go there you virtual uh, supply money based on your agreement there is already people talking you can just uh, you know debts can be simply forgiven and written down
Okay, banks will, will just, you know, they will just delete all the digits in their bank ac account. So what? Everybody come back to work. Uh, government can just decide, uh, print money with no debt and pay the old debt. And, you know, so th th there, is, there is no debt anymore. Wherever, you know, if, if we decide to carry on the debt, some debt will be just written down and the balance of the debt will be, may be paid with the new money where is no, where is no debt on it. That's it. Every, uh, you know, everybody get, I don't know, 25 cents on the dollar. Debts are paid and new money, there is no debt. You, I, I'm sure if I, if I force my imagination and you do the same, you can, I will say, very conservative, you can maybe invent thousand, ten thousand scenarios, what you can, what you can do. And you already see, you know, people locally, they are taking initiative, seeing the financial crisis coming, uh, and they are taking care of um, what their system of exchange is going to be. There is, there is a lot of alternatives that's existing, and basically what people are going to choose, and there is no particular, I, my conclusion, there is no particular system that is perfect. Uh, I agree on, on one thing, there is tangible um, value on the money, there is, it has to be money present somewhere that has uh, intrinsic value like gold and silver and it, because it's been used through history, um, it's going to be used again. I, I give very, very high probability to, to this, but again, it doesn't mean that we have to do it. Anything, uh, because system of exchange, you have to realize and take for what it is. That's my point. It's a contract between market participants that can be reinitiated any, any minute. And we can have, despite any financial crisis, we can continue to produce enormous amount of wealth. Because, you know, we just want a system that will allocate <laughs> the resources properly and will allow us to focus on the real issues. That's what we want. That's it. As, as long as you have entered this, uh, you know, this system, you can use, okay, let's, let's use this as money. Okay, this is, this is money. Let, let's use this. You know, guys, if you, if whatever works, gold, silver, perfect, bitcoins, perfect, you know, fiat money based on debt, if it works, it's perfect. Uh, fiat money, no debt-based money, everything can work. So, uh, anyway guys, just not get caught <coughs> in this theory that we, after the financial collapse, there is a 90 percent, <coughs> it's unpredictable, it basically depends on you what each individual will decide and where you will drag people into. You know, if, if you go and you convince 100 people to use silver, most likely in your area, may, you may have a silver standard. If, if you have enough users and, you know, you, you drag the market in this direction, it's, it's, that's what it's going to be. If you have a strong leaders that will uh, implement fiat currency and they find support that's what is going to be, maybe be more used in, in your area. So everything is it's possible. And the other thing I have to say about this collapse, it's just redistribution of wealth in the West. So wealth will stop flowing our way. And the real crisis, it's, a, <coughs> I believe, actually, in the peak oil, peak of the resources and overpopulation and the capacity of the land. That's what I discovered. That's I think that's a real issue that will put pressure on on our uh, standards of living, uh, which is also can be a question because we also always uh, when we say standard of living, we're talking uh, of the level of the consumption of the material thing. But that's the perspective, you know. We've been educated. Uh, wealth cannot be just, you know. 
I wake up and you meet all people all day and they help you with all your prob problems and you're just having a nice time with your social life. It, it can do very little with the uh, you know, consumption <coughs> of, of some kind of uh, goods or materials. That's, uh, that's another thing that you, I came to realize. So guys, as we always uh, share your opinion, go watch this presentation. I not doubt any second that holders of physical silver and gold somehow will be rewarded. But <laughs> don't overestimate that. Think further. Thanks for watching.